Bobtail searching for SA's next top dog. Get the unique code on pack and send in a picture of your best friend. Now every year, hundreds of thousands of animals are brutally skinned for their fur to make fashion accessories and garments. And today I'm meeting up with one of South Africa's foremost jewellery designers, Jenna Clifford, who has taken stand against this cruelty to animals and emerged herself into a campaign called Fur Free. And I'm also going to be talking to one of South Africa's most active animal activists, Nolene van der Berg. Jen is known as the creator of bespoke jewellery pieces. In her private life, she's a true animal lover. Besides dogs, her pet family consists of horses, kittens, swans, ducks and geese. Jenna and Nolene, thank you so much for joining me today. Jenna, I must say it was so nice walking into your office this morning and being greeted by all these furry animals. Is this a policy of yours to have your boutiques pet friendly? Well, head office definitely pet friendly, but they're just marvellous and we wouldn't be without them. So they're not only serving dogs, they are pets too. And how many animals do you have? 18 docks, but not all in the office, <laughs> uh, but definitely at home a lot. Now guys, today we are talking about a very serious subject. Every year, thousands of animals are skinned for their fur. Now, Nolene, the Fur Free Campaign, what is that all about? Fur Free is a South African registered non-profit organization, and we aim to educate people about the, the fur farms and the fur trade out there. We really want to eliminate all of that. Well, you guys are doing absolutely fantastic work. What are some of the statistics when it comes to the skinning of animals? Not all of them are skinned alive. They're also electrocuted. They're also clubbed to death. Um, but approximately 5,000 cats and dogs in China alone are being killed for their, um, for their fur. Um, obviously there are other countries like France, etc., that also do the same things. And um, what people just need to know is that there is no good fur farm out there. Any kind of fur, you know, is, um, has to do with some cruel and inhumane um, habitats that these animals live in and the way that they then are being killed and just left very often in the sun to die. What's the level of awareness within South Africa, especially when it comes to the skinning of animals? I don't think the level is high enough. Not high enough. Yeah. There's a couple of, um, there's a couple of people that really make a difference. People like Jenna, Jackie and Jerry Mansfield, Louise Carver, Catherine Greenfield, they are all very aware of it and they really support us. But if you just look at the number of shelters that are in South Africa, it shows you that the awareness of animal abuse and animal death is definitely not out there enough. There are a lot more people can, can get um, involved, a lot more people should get involved, and we really need to know how to treat animals and, and not to let them be adopted by shelters and live their lives in cages. Jenna, what are you doing from your side to support this very worthy cause? I'm always creating awareness via these ladies. They do remarkable work. That just goes to show. I also created this very light little designer fur free sugar spoon that the proceeds obviously go to the campaign to raise more awareness. And it's got a kitty and a doggy on it with a lovely little tail and very, very inexpensive. And as I said, that's another way people can participate but I would prefer them participating not just only with things, but with an action. Nolene, from your side, what is being done? What is Fur Free doing to get the awareness out there? What are some of your initiatives? Brand Activation, which is one of the Ogilvy companies, came up with a really, really brilliant campaign, which are these little jackets, as you can see. They, um, they've been designed to illustrate a typical garment where you would find real cat, dog, or, or rabbit fur. And we made various ones. There's another example here of um, one with a coat, as you can see. And then we've got one with a, a boot um, of a shoe. So this is typically where the, the animal fur would, would be used on real garments. So um, Brand Activation came up with this idea. And then also this is being distributed at the Lonial Vet and Parlour, who are, are giving it to the dogs that they are grooming, and people go home and see the actual real fact. So it's a real subtle way of illustrating what the, the horrific um, statistics are out there. And how would you encourage people to get involved, to donate some of their time? There's various ways. Obviously, if you just think of any normal domestic animal life, you can go and volunteer at shelters. Um, also, a, a very important thing that I need to stress is don't buy when shelter animals die. So I really believe that shelter animals should be adopted rather than people buying an animal. And then you can join our, our network on furfreesa.net. That's our website. We, you can follow us on Twitter and on Facebook and become one of our members. You know, we, we really need the more people that we have that speak out. And as we said, earlier use social media the better it is for our campaign and for our awareness well jenna thank you so much for the amazing work that you are doing towards this fur free campaign and Nolene for all your hard work as well thank you thank you
Help raise awareness and take the Fur Free Pledge. All proceeds from the Jenna Clifford Fur Free Collectible Spoons go toward ending brutality associated with the fur trade. Bobtail's looking for SA's next top dog to be a face of their brand. Up for Grabs is a starring role for your dog in Bobtail's next billboard campaign, as well as an interview with you and your dog on Expresso. And a two-night stay at the 12 Apostle Spa and Hotel for you and your winning dog. To enter, simply upload a picture of your dog doing something amazing onto Bobtail's website and enter the unique promotional code found on promotional packs of Bobtail. Like their page on Facebook to be kept up to date with the competition and stay tuned to Expresso for weekly sneak peeks of the competition and help Bobtail choose SA's next top dog. Bobtail for strong South African dogs.